Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Storytime with Noor. Today we are reading a story called Celebrating Eid al-Fitr with Amma Fatima. Read along to find out what happens in this Eid story. Celebrating Eid al-Fitr with Amma Fatima by Fauzia Kilani Williams. Inshallah, if the moon is sighted, Eid al-Fitr will be tomorrow, exclaimed Amma Fatima. She had just finished packing her last Eid box. Rat-a-tat-tat, there was a knock at the door. Come in, called Amma Fatima from her rocking chair. Assalamu alaikum, Amma. It was her eldest son, Abdullah, and her two grandchildren, who had just returned from the mosque. Wa alaykum as salam, replied Amma. The children ran to give Amma Fatima a warm hug. Mashallah, Amma, said Abdullah. The house looks wonderful, and you've finished packing your Eid boxes. Amma Fatima smiled. Alhamdulillah, my boxes are ready. Everyone has been so busy cleaning and decorating the house to welcome the blessed days of Eid. Is there anything else that needs to be done? asked Abdullah. Amma Fatima thought for a moment. What about the Eid lights, Amma? asked Amir. Can we put them out outside with Daddy? Yes, sure, laughed Amma Fatima. They are in the box under the table. The children helped put the Eid lights along the windows and then around the bushes and trees. SubhanAllah, Daddy, said Maria. The lights will look so pretty at night. I hope it's Eid tomorrow, said Amir excitedly. Amma always has so many surprises at Eid. Amma Fatima's Eid boxes were always a delight. In one box, she had little bags of money that she would hide around the house. She also had a big jar filled with coins that she would scatter in the yard. Then the children would hurry to find the coins and money bags. It was such fun. In the second box were pouches filled with sweets. Amma Fatima would hang them around the house and let the children pick a pouch for themselves. In the third box was a crescent-shaped piñata. In the fourth box was a red parcel. This was Amma Fatima's favorite game. The children would sit in a circle and sing an Eid song, and then Amma Fatima would clap her hands, and the children would stop. Whoever had the parcel would take a layer of wrapping paper off, and out would fall the name of a surah. The child holding the parcel would recite the surah and win a gift. Then the game would continue until all the wrapping paper came off. Whoever unwrapped the final layer would find a beautiful copy of the Quran that they could keep. There was another special book, box too. It was for the poor and the sick. It was filled with clothes, money, and gifts. When Abdullah had finished hanging the lights, he told Amma Fatima that the brothers and sisters at the mosque were getting ready to deliver Eid gifts to the orphans, the poor, and the sick for Eid. Shall I take your box to them? Yes, please. Jazakallahu khairan, said Amma Fatima. In the afternoon, Amma Fatima offered Salat al duhr Then she sat in her rocking chair with her prayer beads and did a dhikr, softly whispering, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, and Subhanallah. Next, Amma Fatima wrote her special food list for Eid. Kebab, samosa, jalebi, chicken with rice, pastries, and cookies. Alhamdulillah, said Amma Fatima. Surely all things are from Allah, who has blessed my home. It was almost Maghrib, and time to break the fast. Amma Fatima's daughters-in-law, Shagufta, Sajida, and Zahra, had been busy preparing the fatur meal. Assalamu alaikum, Amma called her grandchildren cheerily as they saw her enter the dining room. Wa alaikum salam, answered Amma Fatima with a smile. I saw the Eid lights outside. Inshallah, all of our friends and neighbors will enjoy them for Eid. A sheet was laid on the floor where everyone was going to sit and eat. A large plate of dates was placed in the middle with a jug of water and cups. Everyone sat around and made a dua to break the fast. Everyone took a date, broke their fast, and drank water. Then they all got up to offer Maghrib. The boys went to the mosque while the girls prayed with Amma. After finishing Salah, the food was brought in and everyone ate happily. A little while later, Bilal and Nasar came back from the mosque. Amma said Bilal excitedly, It's Eid tomorrow. The moon has been sighted. Alhamdulillah, beamed Amma Fatima. 
Subhanallah, cried Shugufta, rushing to her feet. I must start preparing the Eid food. The children clapped their hands and hugged each other. They couldn't wait for Amma Fatima's Eid party tomorrow. Amma, are we going to the mosque early in the morning? And will we say the takbir on the way? asked Masara eagerly. Yes, inshallah, said Amma. Allah will be happy with us when he hears us remembering his name. That night, Amma Fatima's family stayed up late preparing the food and Eid clothes for the blessed day of Eid. Amma Fatima went to her room to offer Isha. Soon it was time to sleep. Amma Fatima was tired but happy. At last the day of Eid was coming. Amma Fatima always loved to welcome Eid to her home. All during the night she dreamed of Eid. At last it was Fajr time. Amma Fatima woke up, said a beautiful dua, then washed and made the wudu. She offered salah and then did dhikr. A few hours later she could see the people walking towards the mosque. Soon, Amma Fatima and her family were ready to go to the mosque. Everyone was, everyone was chanting the takbir. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. By the afternoon, the house was filled with children. First, Amma Fatima sang songs with them about Allah and his messengers. Then she brought out the huge parcel with the Quran neatly hidden inside the layer of the wrapping paper. A little boy named Usama won the Quran. Amma, maybe I'll become a hafiz someday, he said with his eyes shining. Inshallah, smiled Amma Fatima. Allah will be so happy with you. Later, the children began to search for the little money bags and coins. They ran outside the house looking everywhere. Laughter, squeals, yells, and happy cries filled the air. The children were having so much fun. Hafsa found the most money bags. I'm going to put half of these in the mosque collection box, she beamed. Mashallah, you're a good girl, Hafsa, said Amma Fatima. If you help the poor, then Allah will help you. <coughs> Time for the piñata, announced Abdullah. He had tied the crescent-shaped piñata to a tree. The children took turns to strike the piñata with a stick. Amar was the first to make a hole in it. Then Maryam and Muslima made the hole larger. Finally, Hamza broke the box. Everyone cried, Allahu Akbar. Dan felt the gifts and candy. The children scrambled to the ground, trying to gather as many treats as they could. Soon it was time for Aster, so Amma Fatima took her guests to the mosque to offer salah. When they came back, the children picked candy pouches for themselves that were decorating the walls and ceilings inside the house. rat a tat tat there was a knock on the door. Salaamu alaykum, come in, called Amma Fatima. It was Dr. Siddiq carrying a big bunch of balloons, an auntie Kanis with a huge dish of ras malay. Wa alaykum as salam, Eid Mubarak, they chimed. Everyone was so pleased to see Auntie Kaniz. She made the tastiest dress malay in the whole town. Dr. Siddiq gave each of the children a brightly colored balloon, while the adults helped themselves to the best dress malay around. Soon it was time to go home. The children were so happy and had so much fun. We love to celebrate Eid with Amma Fatima, they said. The children hugged Amma Fatima and thanked her for a wonderful time. Jazakallahu khairan, Amma, said Muslima. This was the best Eid I ever had. Barakallah fikum, smiled Amma Fatima. May Allah always bless everyone with happy Eids everywhere. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Assalamu alaikum.